are very much getting excited uh, to <laughs> break ground on our uh, new proposed two force mains from the Church Street pump station to the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, deliveries of materials have begun. Uh, oh, we have good. some staging area at our site. Uh, we will be using the portion of the internal parking lot up by the skate park uh, for when we're working on this side of the bridge. This side of the bridge meaning uh, everything west of the Tide Mill Creek crossing. Uh, that will include, as Mary Lee has said, I'm going to throw out a whole bunch of words, but I'll put it up on uh, the website and also get a board meet. But this is from the bridge. It comes across the Mason property through an easement we've secured to a gravity line on uh, Tide Mill Road and then straight through our facility up past the transfer station into the wastewater treatment plant. That is the first uh, phase of this project. Good. Uh, and gravity line, uh, which is pipe that we have available right now. <coughs> we are asking, however, that we close the Church Street Pump Station residential lot, not the lease lot that goes uh, next to it. If you're picturing the lot, it's the one behind mm -hmm. the uh, pump station. Part of it is still cordoned off from our temporary force main. This would allow the contractor to set up his, con uh, his construction trailer uh, be able to do employee parking in that area. We have secured um, approvals from the diocese to use the lot across the street for the storage of materials. And where this is not summer season, uh, we believe that there's enough room in the leased lot to still allow residential stickers to park in there and the leased parking spaces that we already have um, signed leases for. Mm -hmm. Um, I did put in my recommendation here just as a reminder that um, residential lots are not meant for long-term storage. Yeah. Uh, they're meant for residential use, whether it's going to the beach for the day or, uh, you know, needing, you know, an overnight because, you know, someone came to visit. Uh, mm -hmm. They're not <coughs> intended for four and five and six and seven days stays right. uh, while you go away. It's not the long-term parking airport scenario. Mm -hmm. Um, I say that because we're about to approach winter conditions and if vehicles are left there and they are in our way for snow <coughs> operations and we have noted that they are there multiple days in a row, uh, we do have the ability to tow them. Good. These are not overnight lots. Good. So I just want to state that again that the, the lots that we have are not for long term lots. Right. They are not intended for that. They're not intended for that. And if they are left there long term and they inhibit public works from doing their job, vehicles will be towed Good at man. the owner's expense. And we will do our best. We are going to put flyers on the cars down there tomorrow. Good. Uh, this will not go in effect till Friday. Yeah. Uh, so to give everybody notice between this meeting, yeah. uh, the flyers and people understand that there is an alternate spot to park right next door. Uh, we just ask that you're courteous and not using it for long term storage. And I just need so your need approval motion, to do that. A motion to approve the closing of the pump station lot. I'll make that motion. Second. Oh. All those in favor? Aye. Unanimous. I have a question about the project, though. Yes. Uh, on October 24th, the town manager sent out a letter to Victoria Sheehan, the commissioner of DOT, because, yes. Fred, we were still looking for them to allow us some type of a... Um, Winter work. Yeah, the, to work permit right. their excavation permit uh, for the contractor Rivoli. This is what gives Rivoli the right to dig in the roadway. We have our use and occupancy. We have our wetland permits. This is the actual excavation permit. Okay. Uh, similar to ours and towns, they, they have conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, one of their conditions is that they're not excavating between November 15th and April 1st. Yeah. Uh, our original letter uh, in working with Fred was to ask for a waiver from this while we have favorable conditions and to not lose any time and to be able to just keep moving forward mm -hmm. as soon as we get that force main pipe, uh, asking them the permission to waive those requirements. Um, that letter Fred had sent out, uh, we spoke with both uh, NHDES and NHDOT since then. They've asked for some clarification, rightfully so. They wanted to see some schedules and timelines. Uh, we provided that information back to them Friday and I suspect we'll hear again from this week. Okay, great, thank you. Good. And we're not digging in the roadway to be. Right now, yeah, right now all the work that we're doing from the wastewater treatment plant to the bridge is basically within our right away. Right. Yeah. 
It's once we get up to 101, even though a majority of it is not in the roadway, it's in their right of way, right of way which correct. requires their approval. Okay. So where are we? So we had a vote. So I think we're on to the next one. Yeah, 